Lost Theatre have made a brand new show, especially for children, inspired by the story of Peter Pan. Little Darling revisits the wonders of the Neverland through the eyes of the now grown-up Michael Darling, the youngest of the Darling children. In this series, you will meet the creative team behind the show. See exclusive footage of the live production and get to take part in some fun activities at home. Hello, I'm Ben and I'm the performer in Little Darling. Today, I'm going to be talking about how we use music in lots of different ways to help tell our story. is a really important part of any Full House show. It helps create mood and atmosphere and makes the scenes even more dramatic, exciting and even emotional. All of the music in Little Darling has been written and created by the composer Rebecca and I composed all the music for Little Darling. The hardest part of this composition was making sure that each piece of music was the right length of time for each scene. And the part I loved most about the composition was the big orchestral sound that I could use because there are so many big sequences like flying across London and onto the Never Never and also the pirate ship and all of the sequences with Captain Hook. I love those bits. I also co-wrote the words to the songs. These are called lyrics. Writing lyrics can be really hard. Often the words have to rhyme or fit into a certain rhythmic pattern so that the composer can turn the words into songs. Songs tell us what's happening, how a character is feeling, or what's going to happen next. I wish I had a pretty house the littlest ever seen With funny little red walls And a roof of mossy green Hello, I'm Becky and I provided the backing vocals for the Mermaid Song in Little Darling and I also provided the voice of Mrs Darling. Now one of my favourite things to do ever is to sing. So if you're like me and you like to sing I'm going to give you my top tips on how to always give the best performance. Number one, make sure you warm up your voice. It's a little bit like stretching before you do any physical exercise. And a good way to do this is to start on a low hum that goes really high and then back down again. Try it with me, just like this. Mm -hmm. Good. The second tip is to make sure you take a really deep breath before you start singing, right down deep into your belly, just like this. Good. Number three is to be confident. If you're confident, no one will know if you mess up the words or if you get the wrong notes. They'll just assume that you know what you're doing because you are super confident. And finally, enjoy yourself. 
sing with a smile, and you will sound wonderful. My favourite song in the show is called See a Rainbow, but it's actually not sung by me. If you close your eyes tight, you'll see a turquoise pool. The sun is hot and blazing, the rain is wet and cool. Wet and cool. A lagoon full of enchantment and imaginary things. And then you'll see a rainbow and hear the mermaid sing. I had lots of fun dressing up in the costume and making it look like I was singing by lip syncing to the words. I had to work really hard to get the exact mouth shape and timings. It's harder than it looks. I'm fish and woman, I'm earth and sea. At Mermaid's Lagoon, celebrate me free. Why don't you have a go at home? Dress up in some fun clothes so you feel really fabulous. Sit in front of the mirror and mime the words to your favourite song. If you'd like to be the mermaid from Little Darling, go to our website where you can download the song. You'll find the lyrics there too. If you get really good at lip syncing, you might want to show it to an audience. Thanks for watching today. I hope you have fun. And perhaps you'll come and see Little Darling, the live show, sometime soon. Bye for now. <laughs>